Hello viewers, welcome to Joy's Kitchen. I hope you are all doing very, 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 very well. So today I'm going to show you a very simple yummy curry, which I call it chicken heart in tomato gravy. Uh, the, I can't call it curry because it's not kind of curry. It's kind of like it, uh, when you make like spaghetti sauce, it's kind of like a sp spaghetti sauce, but I'm cooking with chi uh, chicken heart. And you know, chicken heart is really good for your body. And this is one of the chicken's part, which is very yummy. Uh, lots of people don't know how to make uh, this kind of chicken heart recipe, but I'm going to show you step by step how I'm going to make it. And it's not too spicy you can even eat it with spaghetti uh, or bread or with plain boiled rice or it's just on its own uh, so yes yeah, stay with me and enjoy the recipe so at first i took actually a uh, one kilo uh, chicken heart here you can see i cleaned it i cut all the fat portion of the on the top of it and uh, it's already uh, clean and washed so one kilo chicken heart i'm cooking and that's how it looks I took five um, skinless on, uh, tomato here and I chopped it. This is skinless tomato and I'm going to show you how I, I made it uh, like skinless and uh, yeah. So I took five medium sized onion and I've roughly chopped it. I need quite a lot of onion to make this dish. Uh, so I took five onion. If you are making more, just add more onions and it's like finely chopped onion. There's nothing fancy. I took one tablespoon of ginger paste and one and a half tablespoon of garlic paste so I added a little bit more uh, garlic paste than ginger so yeah and I need a half teaspoon of curry powder any kind of curry powder uh, two teaspoon of paprika powder and two teaspoon of tomato puree here I need a little bit more tomato puree than any other spices and I need half teaspoon of nutmeg uh, powder. I'm gonna use this nutmeg powder at the end. So what I done, I cut them like a square, uh, square cut in the on the top of the tomatoes, and then I'm gonna add some boiling water in it, and that's gonna be really easy to take the skin off if you cut a little bit like that on the top of the tomatoes. And then I added quite a lot of boiling water here and I'm gonna leave it for five minutes and soon I'm you're gonna see the skin gonna be like really easily you can take them off so yeah and after that I finally chopped my tomatoes you can use a like normal canned chopped tomato but I prefer this fresh one so that's what I done so now uh, in the pan, I added three tablespoon of vegetable oil. These are just regular vegetable oil. You can add olive oil if you want. And now my oil is hot. So now I added all my chopped onions here and I'm gonna fry them at least four to five minutes till they are really soft and really golden brown. So they're gonna take at least four to five minutes. At the same time, in a bowl, I added a uh, uh, two teaspoon of paprika half teaspoon of curry powder and two teaspoon of uh, uh, tomato puree and now i'm gonna add some boiling water and i kind of like make them like a thick paste uh you can add directly in uh, this powder spices in your dish but i prefer to make them kind of like this kind of gravy so you can see i already added the boiling water and they're ready after that i'm just gonna add in my uh, final dish so you can see my onions are really golden brown now. I've been frying nearly four minutes now. And now I'm gonna add my uh, ginger garlic paste here. And I'm gonna fry this onion and ginger garlic paste for another two to three minutes till the raw flavor of the ginger garlic gonna go. So after around three minutes of frying, that's how my onions and ginger garlic looks like. So now I'm gonna add around two tablespoons of boiling water because I don't want to burn my ginger garlic so that's why I'm gonna add a little bit of boiling water and I'm gonna fry it for another two to three minutes I just don't want any kind of raw flavor in my final dish so that's why I'm cooking a little bit longer so I'm gonna cook it for another two to three minutes till uh, all the water gonna absorb so after around two minutes that's how my onion and ginger garlic looks they're finally like soft and uh, really golden now and now I'm gonna add all my chicken hearts here so I'm gonna fry this chicken heart with this onion and ginger garlic at least six to seven minutes before I add my tomatoes and my spices this is very important if you cook your chicken uh, heart a little bit with the onion and the ginger garlic in that case uh, you, the chicken heart gonna absorb all the ginger garlic uh, flavor in it 
because chichik chicken heart have little bit kind of like a smoky kind of flavor on it and some people don't like it like i especially don't like it so that's why i fry my chicken hearts before i add any kind of other spices just like that uh, separately for four five minutes so i'm gonna fry it for at least six minutes just like that so after around six minutes of frying you can see my chicken hearts really is a little bit of water and it's kind of like a little bit cooked as well because the color is not pink it's kind of like pale now so i'm gonna fry it for another two to three minutes just like that i'm gonna fry it a little bit longer a little bit longer because still i can smell they have a little bit like this strong smell so i don't i want to kill it so i'm gonna fry it for another three to four minutes just like that so after another four minutes of frying you can see my uh the oil came out and chicken hearts are a little bit done now so i've been frying nearly seven minutes eight minutes all together and now i'm gonna add that uh, spice mixture which i made earlier or sauce you can say so that uh, curry or that uh, gravy gonna be really smoky because I added quite a lot of paprika here. If you want, you can add smoked paprika, but I prefer just plain paprika. And this is not an um, not spicy dish because I didn't add any kind of chili or nothing. It's really flavorful and really yummy. Trust me. And you can eat with spaghetti. You just boil some spaghetti and you can add as like a sauce. And as I said, chicken heart is so good for your body and they have really rubbery kind of texture and uh, lots of people love it but uh, yeah and this gravy is so yummy trust me so i'm gonna cook with the spices now for another four to five minutes just like that so after another five minutes of frying that's how my chicken liver looks now you can see all the oil came up and i can smell it the garlic the ginger the paprika the tomato puree oh it's so good i added actually a little bit of salt as well like another one and a half teaspoon of salt but I didn't show you because obviously you have to add salt in your dish and now I'm gonna add all my skinless chopped tomatoes here and the main gravy gonna come from this chopped tomato and as I said you can add like normal shop bought uh, canned tomatoes chopped tomatoes but I prefer the fresh one but if you are not fancy in uh, doing all this hard work just go for the canned one there is no problem in it but in that case you add a little bit more uh, sugar I'm gonna add sugar actually I'm gonna show you but you need to add a little bit more sugar because canned tomatoes are a little bit sour so you make sure the balance so now i'm gonna cook this uh, cover this pot after mixing them i'm gonna cover it and i'm gonna cook it for at least six minutes just like that so i uncovered my pot and you can see the tomatoes are really melted and uh, the oil came up and the smell is so good already so this chicken heart gonna take a little bit longer to cook but trust me it's worth it because it's so yummy and uh, yeah I'm cooking I'm frying a little bit more just like that just to show you the, how it looks so yeah so now I'm gonna add actually a half teaspoon of nutmeg powder as I said this nutmeg powder is gonna give a really nice kind of heat and different kind of flavor in it because usually um, we don't use nutmeg powder when we cook something with lots of tomatoes but trust me if you add a little bit of nutmeg powder this dish is gonna be like totally different and so good and as I said you can add uh, spaghetti you can eat it with plain boiled rice or any kind of bread so it's gonna be perfectly okay so now I'm gonna add around uh, one cup of uh, boiling water just to give a little bit of gravy because as I said this is a gravy kind of uh, dish but the gravy not gonna be too thin and the gravy not gonna be too thick so it's gonna be in the in between so I'm gonna add around one cup of boiling water but it depends how much you are cooking so now I'm gonna cover my pan and I'm gonna cook it for another five to six minutes just like that so after six minutes of cooking that's how my chicken heart looks now and it's done actually my dish is done so I'm gonna switch off my hob and I'm gonna serve it so here you go guys this is my chicken heart in tomato gravy is ready for you and as you saw it's very very easy and just few simple steps you have to follow and you can get a very yummy dish and as I said if you are a spaghetti lover that can be a really good spaghetti sauce or if you are 
rice eater just have it with rice because i'm gonna have it with rice and this is so simple but it's really yummy kind of curry and i hope you're gonna like this recipe and make this recipe and don't forget to like and subscribe my channel and follow my recipes and share my recipes with your friends family and neighbors and trust me you should make this recipe and have it with your whole family so take care and bye bye and eat healthy and live good so bye bye ta-da